F zero. <gasps> yeah, I know the launch title, very early SNES game. Uh, so I think that's, I think a lot of people had it. We certainly had it, and it uh-huh. is a futuristic racing game set in the year twenty five sixty. Wow, and it's a pretty fun game. Sounds still in the future now. It's miles in the future. They really kicked it ahead so that. Really, no one who played it back then is going to go, Oh, what, 2560 is nothing like the street racing scenes of F-Zero. Exactly. It's very clever. They're gonna, no one's going to be around for, for, to hear any of those complaints, whereas, yeah, all those other 2001, A Space Odyssey, and you're like... Someone, mm-hmm. someone will still complain, won't they? Someone in 2560. They will. They'll go, oh, this is nothing. But it might be quite similar, I think it is. Exactly. And then what? Exactly. So this game is set above the rooftops of cities. It's like a Formula One, but but instead of uh, racing cars, you're in slightly different versions of what I would say would be Thunderbird 2. You know, the green Thunderbird? So yeah. they're quite heavy looking uh, spaceship race cars. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a bit like, uh, what's that? Um, Wipeout. Yeah. The idea of Wipeout, but mixed with sort of Mario Kart style graphics. But it's very fast. You go mm. over 450 kilometers an hour in this uh, in this game, and it feels. What's that for our American cousins well, who in, have no idea? In 2560, they will be on the metric system for sure. So they'll know. So they will know by okay. then. So we don't even need to explain. No. Don't, don't worry about that. Uh, the, the soundtrack is awesome on this. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And what I like especially, not only is it just quite nice, but most racing games are like really ba 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 da 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 really intense, whereas all of the sound effects and menu music is all like quite mellow and futuristic. Mm. It's quite, yeah, it's really nice. You could sort of, I was in a frantic 450 kilometre race, but I was totally chilled. And even when I blew yeah. up, because I'd been driving against the sort of weird magnetic boundary for too long uh, I didn't mind it was a pleasant like, I deserved that because uh, I would have been really annoyed I think in that because it just says you lose straight away <laughs> it doesn't say oh you came in you came in 7th um, out of 8 would you like so to try weird. again it's like you lose weird that you can be travelling at that speed and be less road rage than when you're on the road at like 40 miles an hour Everyone's like effing and jeffing at you. <sighs> Tell me about it. Like, just chill. Put on some um, F Zero music and um, <sighs> relax. Yeah, I would. I would listen to the soundtrack, you know, independently. In the car. Pretty cool. In the car? No, no not in the car. Oh, yeah, in the make, car. Make you go too fast? Uh, I'm a very slow driver. So yeah. maybe, it's, maybe it's what I need. You could use the menu music while you're driving. <laughs> In fact, I need no distractions when I'm driving. I need to like concentrate 100% all the time. Yep. Uh, do you know what the F in F series stands for? Um, fast. No. Um, future. No. Fantastic. No. Apparently, it stands for formula. Oh. Oh, of course. So instead of, of Formula course. One, it's Formula Zero. Yeah. So it should I be. An, it. it should be an older game, shouldn't it? No, it, it means faster. Oh, does it? Because, like, Formula 3 is, like, ah, not as fast. Ah, that's very clever. I thought it was a bit stupid, but it turns out that I'm, I'm yeah. stupid. Yeah, it um, does. Seven courses, four vehicles. Uh, looks and feels great. Still plays really nicely and bright and attractive. So that is... I've whizzed through F-Zero at 450 kilometers per hour 